Hi, thanks for watching my tutorial on sustained gear changes. This tutorial is aimed at advanced drivers who have already got a good grasp of the system of car control according to Roadcraft, the police driver's handbook. I'll explain what it is, why you'd want to do it, and most importantly, how to do it. Sustained gear changing is often referred to as rev matching or ragging, uh, which stands for rev assisted gears. This is not to be confused with double D clutching or heel toe, which are similar techniques not covered in this tutorial. So what is it? Well, it's an advanced technique used when downshifting, i.e. selecting a lower gear. You should not use this method when upshifting, changing to higher gears. So when would you do it? Well, just imagine you're driving down a country road um, in a 60 limit, you're doing 60 miles an hour and you're in 6 gear and you're approaching a nice sweeping corner. You've matched your speed with the limit point and now you want to downshift and accelerate through that bend. Let's say you'd like to use a lower gear such as 4th or 3rd gear to increase stability of the car through the corner to gain a good exit. But here's the problem. You know that if you downshift now and go to a lower gear, your revs will spike and the car will jolt caused by engine braking. So this is not very smooth for the advanced driver and not great for the gearbox either. So you think, well, what will I do? I'll have to brake to drop some speeds before the bends to make the gear change smoother. But you don't really want to do this as your speed is fine and the limit point is being matched all you need to do is just get that lower gear and accelerate through the corner. So here's the solution. We just need to blip the throttle to compensate for that or rev match. So let's explain how to do that. Let's say when you make the downshift, the revs will spike from 2,500 revs to 3,500. So when you declutch, you can compensate for this by blipping the revs up to 3,500 revs. So when the clutch comes up, you've matched the revs, resulting in a nice smooth gear change. Therefore, your car's going to remain stable and you're ready to accelerate through the bend. You should still use the system of car control, IPSCA, so it breaks the slow, but then blip the revs for that smooth gear change and then accelerate away from the hazards. This technique will also stop you from overlapping your brakes and your clutch before a corner. If you're happy to try this technique, please make sure you stay safe. Practice on a long, straight, quiet country road, get your speed up to 40 miles an hour and put it in sixth gear, and then try to downshift to third gear whilst maintaining the speed at 40 miles an hour. After a while, you'll learn how many revs it will take to make the gear change smooth. Okay, so once you've perfected this at 40 miles an hour, try increasing your speed up to 60 miles an hour get into 6th gear and then downshift to 4th gear whilst maintaining that speed. Practice this in a straight line. You'll know you're getting good at it because you'll hear the downshift but you won't feel it in the car. Ok so after lots of practice you'll soon develop muscle memory and this will become a much more natural part of your driving. You can then introduce the technique on bends or before bends I should say um, and before hazards such as roundabouts and junctions. Okay, so listen to this audio of some GT cars using the method of sustained gear changes when approaching a bend. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of my video tutorial. Please like, subscribe and please comment about what you'd like me to cover next. See you in the next video.